Hello everyone. Installing WordPress locally provides a convenient and safe environment for developers, designers and users to work with the platform without the risks associated with working on a live site. Thus in this video let's take a look at the easiest method to install WordPress locally that would work for any device be it Windows, Mac or Linux. I'm Aparna Singh from LearnVoo and let's get started. There are several ways to install WordPress locally on your computer, but the easiest method is by using local WP software. Now this software helps you to install WordPress locally for Windows, Mac or Linux and the best part is that irrespective of the system you are using, the process to set it up remains the same. Thus let's quickly take a look at how it works. Let's first download and install local WP. For that, go to local WP's official website, click on download for free, choose your platform. Like mentioned before, it is available for Windows, Mac and Linux operating systems. Enter the details as like name, email ID, phone number. Once done, click on get it now to start the download. Once it is downloaded, install it in your computer. After it gets installed in the system, next let's create a new site in local WP. Open the installed local WP application and click on the plus icon to create a new site. Select create a new site. Enter the name for your site. Next choose an environment. Thus select preferred here. Now that would be preferred version of PHP, web server and database engine. Next click continue. Next enter WordPress username. Then set the password. And then enter WordPress email. Once done click add site. And your local WordPress site will be added successfully. Once you have created a new site, click on site's name, click start site, now click on WP admin. It will open the WordPress login page, enter the credentials, click login and you will be redirected to WordPress local sites admin page. Now here to enhance WordPress website, you can also add plugins to the site. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new. Here you can explore different types of plugins or you can search any particular plugin that you need from here in the search bar. Let me add a plugin and show you how that works. So here let me search WooCommerce plugin. Now if you are creating an e-commerce store in WordPress then WooCommerce plugin is a must for you. It allows you to easily create an online store and sell physical and digital products. Click the link to a video mentioned in the description that will give you a complete guide on how to set up a WooCommerce store on a WordPress website. Now you have added the site which is successfully running. In addition to the entire demonstration that I have given you, you can also make changes to the PHP and other files according to your requirement. For that, go to local WP software, right click on the site that we created, click go to site folder and it will open the sites folder. You can make any changes by editing the particular file in this folder. Let me show you how you can turn on WP debug to true in the WP configure.php file. For that open your sites folder. On the search bar search WP configure.php. Once the file appears open it. Scroll down to add any custom values between this line and stop editing line. And then here change the define WP debug from false to true. 
Doing that will help WordPress developers to see error messages and warnings on the screen, making it easier to diagnose and fix the issues that may arise during the development. It also helps to identify potential security vulnerabilities in your code, such as SQL injection attacks. Overall, turning on WP Debug to true in the wp-configure.php file on the local host can provide developers with the required information and insights to help them build better WordPress websites. And that's all. This is how you can easily install WordPress locally for Windows, Mac or Linux. Do let us know in the comment section if this method worked for you. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.